Good morning, guys. So I was just scrolling TikTok while I was having my morning coffee, and I came across a video that actually brought up a very good point that encouraged me to make a video. Okay. Now, I'm a gamer. I love gaming. I love gaming. All games. People asking me, what, what kind of games you play? Any and anything that is good. And by good, I mean things that, you know, arouse my interests, right? There's many, many different games. I just played a game on YouTube, recorded it, and uploaded it, and I'm like, this is the best game ever. And after I was done recording, I quickly started recording the next video because I couldn't stop playing it. Not because, you know, I wanted to make more videos. I mean, I do, but I was just like, I need to get this video out. One, uh, one more game. One more game. Remember that? One more game when we were young? Remember? One more game, and then I'll go to bed. And, and it's not like that anymore. Okay? The video that I saw, he goes... If you are growing up and games are getting less interesting to you, it's not you. It's the games. And I'm like, freaking right. When we were young, games were challenging. They were fun. They had the whole one more game attitude before you shut it off and went to bed. Right? Stardew Valley. You know why Stardew Valley was so popular? Because one more day. Just one more day, just one more day, because game time on Stardew Valley is, what, roughly 20 minutes? And so just one more day, just one more day. And then four more hours go by. That's why Stardew Valley was so popular, because they were such a good game, okay? Games have gotten lazy. Games have gotten, what's the word I'm looking for, um, unoriginal, okay? They keep copying each other, hoping to make the next best game ever, and they suck, and the only games you find advertised nowadays are either so overhyped and people finally play it and the game's just so broken it's unplayable or it's a mobile game and the mobile game absolutely sucks because it's like it's made like every other mo mobile game out there. It's like, oh, I've seen a game exactly like this only with different graphics. <sighs> y'all, if, uh, and I don't say y'all, by the way. I say y'all, we like, um, ironically, when you're making a game, okay, for one thing, make sure it's polished, make sure it's playable, because if it is a good concept of a game, don't make it broken because you've already lost all your audience way before the game can make enough money for you to live off of and to start making the next game. It's When I was young, games used to be finished before they came out. Because there was no internet, there was no DLC, there was no patches, there was no updates. No. They finished a the game, they put it in a cartridge, and then they sold it for a lot of money. I mean, it was like $50 a game when I was young. When I was young. And now, it's much. I'm much older. <laughs> and everyone, including me, has the mindset, I'm not spending more than $15 a game. Why is that? Is it because we're cheap? Is it because we're poor? It is partially that. But it's because you we're used to the game either not being finished and not going to be finished because a lot of game devs abandon their projects. Or it's so broken that it's like it's so it's like why 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 am I paying fifty dollars for a game that is completely unplayable? So I'm not. I'm not going to spend more than $15. That way, if the game is unplayable or not finished and not going to be finished, I didn't waste a boatload of money. I wasted $15. That's one, maybe two times going to McDonald's. Subnautica. Very, very good uh, example. Okay. Subnautica? Yeah, they... They did not make it unplayable. Yeah, they had a small glitch every now and again, but like, like say your character getting stuck on something, but it wasn't unplayable because usually you can navigate your way out of being stuck and they have an unstuck option. They, they, they fixed it. They're, you know, it's like if people get stuck, they can, they can unstick themselves. No problem. But the game was essentially finished when it came out. It was still considered early access because they were finishing the game, but guess what? They finished the game. And also they didn't just put out a small portion of the game for you to play. They put a very large portion of the game that took you many hours to complete by the time you got to the part where it wasn't even finished yet. <sighs> that was a long rant. I did not know I was going to go on such a heated rant about that. <sighs> okay, so 
<laughs> to summarize, if you're getting older and you're a, you've been a gamer your whole life and suddenly games aren't interesting to you anymore, it's not you. It's the games. It's the game devs. They suck at making games nowadays, with the exception of a few. I've had games on my wish list on Steam for years. It is about to be 2025. And I remember them saying, oh, it's coming out in 2022 or 2023 or whatever. And then it would update. Okay, next year. Okay, next year. Okay, next year. It's like, I'm holding on to it. Because it's they're not the only ones to do that. We've had actual console games that would put it off for years because it wasn't done yet. It wasn't done yet. So I'm holding out hope that it's just taking them extra time to get everything done because they didn't anticipate all the problems they would have or all the things that would add to the game. I'm holding out hope. Okay? So I leave them in my wish list. There was a game, I don't remember the exact name of it, but it was kind of a cop simulator game, right? You're a police officer, you're pulling people over, you're solving crimes, you're chasing down thieves. It looked awesome. Okay, the screenshots looked awesome. The, the what do you call it? The intro? No, not the intro. Um, you know, where they put a little sample of the gameplay. It looked awesome. So I'm like, oh, I can't wait for this game to came out. I had it on my wish list for at least a year. I don't know how long, but at least a year. And it just came out. Just came out. I got the notification at work while I was at work that it just came out. And I'm just like, oh my God, I can't wait to get home and buy it and play it and maybe record it if it's really good. I get home and I look for it and it says, very negative reviewed. What? I look at the reviews and every single person is saying it's unplayable. They, they get into the cop car and it slides like you're on ice. Uh, you can't drive it. It's the, the pedestrians are flying all over or something like that. It was unplayable. It's just like, what were you doing for that past year? Making a broken... Did you not test your own game? Uh, and it, I was just like, I don't want it anymore. So I unwish listed it. I didn't buy it. I unwish listed it. And I'm just like, that was majorly disappointing. What were you doing for that past year? Did you not, you know, test it? Did you not play it? What happened? And you just lost. I don't know how many people, but I know I'm an example of people buying your game. It just takes a couple thousand people to buy the game play it, realize it sucks, leave a bad review, and get a refund because it's within that 24-hour period and you haven't made any money. What the hell is wrong with y'all? See, I said y'all. I'm not, I'm, I'm not a Southern person. I'm not a Texan. I say y'all when I'm feeling pissy for some reason. <laughs> this was a long rant. I apologize. Yeah, it's not you. It's the games. Get your shit together. <laughs>